So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a game. This game is called a boss fight. So the objective of the game is to kill the boss, which is the goal right here, the ghost, using the arrow keys to move around, up to jump, left and right arrow keys to move left and right, and one, two, and three to attack. One is to make the saber, the lightsaber spin around. Two is to throw the lightsaber, and three is to use force. So we'll be learning these following concepts today. Variables, loops, point and direction, touching sprites, sent, which is basically sensing, broadcasting messages, switch between different attack abilities. So we'll need different sprites for each attack. That's what it basically means. And custom sprites, which is um, sprites you draw. So let's head on to the video. So I'll show you how the project works. So when you start, you throw a lightsaber. And when you're, when you're using an attack move on the boss, you will not be affected by any attacks. You, th you can throw lightsabers with the second button. Number three, you can use the force. You can hit him with the lightsaber. And um, damage is varied. The lightsaber throw and the saber swing both do 100 damage, but the um, force is 200 damage. Let me just finish this real quick. Okay. Okay, so when you kill him, it says you win, but if he kills you, then you'll lose, if you lose all your HP. So that's how the game works. Let's create a new project. So we will not need the scratch cat. We can rename it to boss fight, I guess. So I have all the sprites put in my backpack. So if you don't have this yet, just get them, uh, just download them in the description below. We have the sprites in the description below. So can download them and just drag them in here just drag them in here <clears throat> so I accidentally dragged three of these so I just deleted them drag them saber throw the thrown saber the force attack. You have the health box. The health for the mm, for the cat. Uh, we have the health for the boss. Health for the uh, this is the boss itself. Fireball the boss throws the you win and the you lose. So these are all the sprites. So. If you haven't already, um, set the boss size to 65% and set the health th uh, this to 70% and se set the um, boss HP, this thing, to 40%. These are the right sizes I got, so just change the sizes. Um, and now let's work on the coat. So this is the cat, and you move down the backpack. So this is the count. Let's go to the code. So we'll need two variables in the beginning. One, we can delete the my variable. Just make two variables. One is called boss, boss HP. Click OK and HP. This is the HP for the player. So next let's work on the code for the cat okay so when, when we start we go drag a one flag clicked point direction of 90 so it'll face to the right side in the beginning this is just to set the set it up i i have the coordinates written down so these this is the coordinates i have negative 180 negative 60 so it'll be like somewhere right here spawn somewhere right here Set the rotation style to don't rotate so it won't flip upside down. 
uh, don't rotate. Clear graphic effects. So we, in the beginning, we need clear graphic effects because when when the cat touches the boss, it will change color effects to let you know that you're getting hit. So in the beginning, we clear it. Switch costume to saber one, saber on one. This is, as you can see, this is the costume makes it look like it's appearing, like it's um, the lightsaber is coming out. See, if you switch this really quickly, it looks like the lightsaber is coming out. So switch saber on one. We can wait 0.1 seconds. Let a little pause. Just duplicate this. Oops. Duplicate. So this one, saber two. Duplicate. Saber three. So we have the three sabers. And then at the end, switch costume, saber fight. This one is the, the saber fight. It's just looking in like a fighting stance. Its legs are up. Mm, and then next, we need to, uh, we can just do this. Say fight, fight for one second, I guess. Fight for one second. So just put one second right here. So fight for one second, forever, point towards dark. So it'll always face the boss. Forever, point towards the boss. So it'll always face it, point towards boss. So as you can see, when you play it, the lightsaber comes out and it's, it says fight. See? And we'll need to add some more code, get a one flag clicked, uh, set HP to 100. So the cat has 100 HP. HP to 100 and hide the variable HP in the beginning because in, cause instead of using the HP variable, we'll be actually using the health bar right here. I'll teach you guys how to do that later. And we can play sound saber until done. I have a sound called saber in here. That's just like when you play it, it just makes that sound. That's the saber sound. Um, and forever, get a forever loop. Forever, if then touching, touching fireball or boss. So if it's touching either the fireball or the boss sprite. Oops. Boss, then it'll change HP by negative five. So it'll lose five HP every time that happens. I get five and play, start sound hurt. I have a sound right here called hurt. It's just to let you know that you're getting hit. So it sounds like this, like that. Repeat 10 times. Switch, change color effect by 25. So as I said earlier, when you're getting hit, it will change color effect to let you know that you're getting hit. And then we put a clear graphic effects right here. So right, what we have right now is this, and if it's touching either the b boss or the boss fireball, then it will um, run this code right here. And we haven't done that yet, so we will get on that later. So now let's work on the cat movement. So for the cat, for the, I'll let you guys see this first and copy it down, make it a bit bigger. Okay, so. Hope you're done with that. So now let's continue for the cat movement. So when flag clicked, they want to wait one second just to give it a slight pause forever. If on edge bounce, I put this so um so I found out a bug in the game a, a while ago. So like if you um if you you can go um behind the side right here so i put the bounce so you can't get past it because there's this one one strategy which is pretty cheap you can just go right here and the boss can't hit you and you keep on throwing lightsabers so, so i don't want that to happen so that's why we have the if on edge bounce right here 
So we'll need two if then statements. This is just the movement. If then right arrow is press, key right arrow is pressed, then broadcast will broadcast a message called and wait called right. We're broadcasting this. We'll broadcast it back to the cat and we'll do the we'll just move around. And then when it receives the right, then we'll we can change the X position. So when our key left arrow is pressed, then we can broadcast wait left. Sorry. So left. So when this receives the left left message, what uh, if you're asking why we want to do this? It's because we have all of these uh, these costumes. Is sprites, so we also have to broadcast to them. So we have the, if right left is pressed, then change x by negative 40. Duplicate this. If the right right key it when it receives right, then you can change y by x by 40. So next, we can work on the cat jump jumping. So for the cat jumping, we'll need a uh, one click. Wait one second, forever. Forever, if then up arrow is press, key up arrow. Up arrow is pressed, then switch costume to Saber Fight 2. Saber Fight 2 is the jumping. Switch costume to Saber Fight 2. Saber Fight 2, and we can broadcast a message and wait called jump. The cat will also receive it, and we will do the jump code after we're finished with this. And repeat, we'll need to repeat until. Repeat until Y position is equal to negative 60. So it'll fall down. So It'll repeat this until the cat falls down. So repeat until y position is equal to negative 60. Negative 60 is the ground ground y position. As you can see, we set the x and y position to negative 180 to y negative 60. So negative 60 is where the ground is. Negative 60, y is equal to negative 60. Y position is equal to negative 60. And it'll change x y by negative ten. It'll repeat until keep on changing y by negative ten, and we can switch costume to saber fight one, which is the regular standing up. Saber fight one. So next, when it receives the um, message jump, jump, then we can broadcast jump sound. This is just to um, make the sound, the jumping sound. Jump sound. Uh, repeat six times. Repeat six times. Change Y by 30, wait 0 0.2 seconds. So this is just jumping up. Change Y by 30. Wait 0 0.02 seconds. This is to make it jump up. And when it receives jump sound, the code for the uh, message jump sound, then we can play the sound jump. Wait two seconds. And then stop all sounds. Cause so stop all sounds right here. So jump sounds like this. It's a bit long, that's why you want the wait two seconds and stop sound. So for now, we have the movement of it. As you can see, and jump around. When it jumps, it lands slowly. You can move around. 
and when it touches the um, when it touches the boss, it will lose HP. And I forgot to change this to HP. Sorry. Um, so when it touches the boss, it will lose HP. So if I were to show the variable HP, it would go down slowly, as you can see. So of course we haven't done anything to it, so go to the negatives. We'll work on that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.